What's up friends and followers, Nate with Lakeview Home Improvement. I am here today at the beautiful cove at Concord Park and I wanna to talk to you about five reasons why you may not wanna hire a general contractor for your next upcoming project. Just thinking about this whole thing can sort of be exhausting for some contractors, but at the end of the day, I'm supportive of the idea of people taking on these types of projects and doing it. I once was there too, so when people come to us and inquire about doing their own work, go for it. Definitely be prepared to fail and be prepared to have issues arise and of course challenges that you're gonna have to work through. And of course, you may even have to tear it apart and redo it if you're hoping for it to be inspected because the inspector is going to come in and make sure that it's done to the current codes and to make sure those are enforced properly. So number one, I'm experienced enough. So maybe you've got a couple of years of experience or a background doing home renovations and you've got a lot of the trades covered, but maybe you're not really the best at drywall work or maybe you'd like to have the electrical work done by a professional. Perfect, that's no big deal just sub out those trades, go ahead and manage the project yourself. You're likely to find someone that can easily come in, take care of those details for you, not actually cost you a whole lot of money, and you'll get the look you want. Number two, you've got plenty of time on your schedule. You've got time to be able to be home when those trades are showing up and you can kind of manage the schedule so that things are in line as production goes on and you can proceed into the next phase of the project without having too many delays. So again, you have plenty of time on your hand and can manage that schedule and be around when people need you to be there. So number three, maybe you have no fixed timeline. Maybe this is a project that's not going on in your current residence. Maybe it's a secondary home or a project that you're doing as a flip. Just something you're looking to have kind of done within the next six, eight months. Go for it. Number four, you want to save money. I completely understand that. And if you're able to save some money on this project, maybe you could apply it to the next one. But the truth is on a large scale project, oftentimes you may go over budget if you're hoping to self-manage it. Why? Well, it may be the first time you've ever done certain things and it may take you a couple times to get it right. From a general contractor's perspective, it's our goal to make a profit at the end of the year. What does that mean for you? That means that we're going to be in business long term to be able to come back and service whatever may need to be done and actually uphold our warranty. So in short, smart management can often save you money over time and that could add up to the cost of what it would be to hire a general contractor. Number five, you cannot let go of control. We hear this all the time. The contractor came out, he provided an estimate and he's ghosted us. Or maybe he actually showed up and things started off the right foot but for whatever reason, like I said, you can't turn over the keys and you've decided that you're going to micromanage them and stand over them constantly. That is a quick way to desert a contractor. So it's in your best interest if those are characteristics that you already have, maybe handling this project yourself is the best fit. And there you have it, five reasons why it may make sense for you to not hire a contractor on your upcoming project. If this content was informative to you, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the cool YouTube things, and we will catch you on the flip side.